So hello and welcome to Just Cause 3. This game is a bundle of fun. It comes out on the 1st of December. I went away into London and checked it out at Square Enix. And here's my gameplay. Oh my god. So the first thing we're going to do today is go to the highest point in the game and see what it looks like. It's the highest point in Just Cause and it's, it's, it's high. It's very, very high. The map is insanely massive. Probably similar to the same size as like Just Cause 2. But there's a lot more environments, a lot more built up, a lot more stuff going on. And yeah, I'm in a helicopter, just cruising. It's actually quite tricky because it's like really high up and there's like lots of turbulence and stuff. And there it is, the highest point on the map. I'm gonna try and land somehow. It, yeah, I'm not the best at landing. It's maybe, this may be bad. Yeah, it's, it's sort of bad. It's so, yeah, we're good. It's all good, don't worry. <laughs> Panic over. <laughs> that was, uh, I, that took me quite a while to do. And I was like, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. And I almost crashed. Let's tie this point though. Wowzers, look at the view. So this is like the sort of second big island thing. And uh, it's also like small islands, but it's like the main sort of second part. And look at it. It's pretty big. It's freaking massive. It's ginormous. And obviously we now have a wingsuit. And of course I'm gonna jump off the, the highest point in the map. <laughs> How dare you ever doubt me? Look at it. That is crazy. This wingsuity thingy is amazing it's absolutely amazing to use similar to get used to you will see in a second what happens at the beginning it's it takes some adjustment but once you get used to it it's so cool moving around the whole map and exploring and trying to go as fast as possible and you see there it sort of keeps your time so you've got like a timer so if you want to stay up in the air for as long as possible you can try and do that to try and compete with your friends and stuff those things pop up all the time which is definitely cool it's like a sort of comparison between you and your friends on the PC or Xbox One or PS4. And I'm still I'm still gliding. I'm still gliding. It's such a cool feeling as well. You see that the wind in your in your hair, in the suit, getting quite close to the ground. Be careful. Using the old grabble hook to get a little bit more speed and momentum. And we are just swooping away. Oh yeah, it feels so good. Right, yeah, these are my fails. <laughs> this is me getting used to it. Just smash right into a lamppost, get a little bit angry, and blow this poor guy up. Uh, so these are like, basically like mine sticky bombs. Kaboom, that guy's gone. Oh, another foul. Yep, hit a petrol station. Oh, hit the road. That is slightly awkward. And again, into the rock, face first, blood splattered. This one's just weird. Oh, <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Anyway, continue. So this is a bridge. Above this bridge is a train. The train constantly keeps moving. It's part of the game. You can jump on it. You can ride it. You can do whatever you want. And I figured... I don't like this bridge. It's annoying me. I don't like it. I'm gonna wreck it. And the train is coming. Set off the mines. And the bridge gone. <laughs> it's just been the, the poor train was like, what the hell just happened? And there's the train in pieces. Oops. And also the trains don't stop. They keep coming. Hence that one behind us. It's coming and it's not stopping. It has no clue, there's no bridge there. And yeah. <laughs> this is like, oh my god, so much destruction. It's crazy. And of course, of course another one comes. Look at that, it flies in the sky, smacks one of the pillars. Look at that, that look at that, it's spinning. It's goddamn spinning. There we go, it lands eventually. And another one from the other side. This is just like utter, utter chaos. And another one turns up from the other side. It does, does take a little while for them to come around, but I was obviously, I'm, I'm cutting it up. And there it is. Oh, it's spinning. It's, it's getting so piled up now. They can't even get to like the end of the bridge. Absolute anarchy. I thought I'd have a little bit of a look. Um, <laughs> look at all, all the train parts. It's absolutely absurd. Of course, the power shoot is back as well. From the last game. I loved Just Cause 2. Like, so much. I also loved the first game, but Just Cause 2 was like... Ugh. So excited for Just Cause 3. I'm playing the full game. Doing some story missions. Oh, and the more bridge is coming down. Oopsie doodles. Um, also, the uh, the naughty army sees me and like wants to kill me, which I probably understand, to be honest. Calling for backup. It's not going to help you, I'm afraid. We're going to keep kicking your ass. Just like the environment looks amazing. Uh, the gameplay, the sounds. This game is a, a step up. And it's very exciting. Any guys who like, have played Just Calls before, definitely have this on your radar. <laughs> definitely. 
and yeah, awkward landing. Right, so this is a sort of takeover. So you've got little, like, little settlements there you've got to try and take over throughout the whole of the map. And it's one of the sort of first ones I did. And a base has made him slap himself, which is quite hilarious. So these are like statues, these are of mini objectives. Put both of your legs together and sort of see what happens. So you can basically connect them up and then just sort of activate the pull, make them sort of pull together. So like using like the weaknesses. So it's quite a strong structure. Very strong actually, it's quite well built. So I'm trying to like pin bits together and trying to like dismantle it fairly slowly. Right, this should eventually work. Got four tethers. That's three tethers. Oh, and his arm just fell off. And he's shaking. He's, he's going slowly. Sl uh, Apparently that counts as me destroying it, but we're going to do a little bit more damage. Oh, the leg just fell off. Oh, there's one more leg. I'm going to try and put it down. Two tethers. Three tethers. And pull. And it's going down. Done. <laughs> oh, funny. I love it. Oh, these two annoying cars. Let's put them a bit closer. There we go. Nice and close now. So, you can actually use it as a, as a sort of slingshot. So this poor person's going to go against the wall. <laughs> that looks so painful. Just slapped against it. Right, she is literally... You're going to go for a flight, love. You're going. You're going to go fly. You're going to fly. Goodbye. <laughs> and she's gone. We'll never see her again. She has disappeared. What an epic sling slot, sling slingshot. Can't even speak properly. Look at that. Just, just tossing people up in the air. That failed. That was awkward. Try again. And he lands on the roof. I'm not, I'm, is he still alive? I'm pretty sure he's dead. But just make sure. I'll put him over there. Just make sure. Yeah, he's definitely dead now. Oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Ow. Yep. Just. This guy, I'm punishing this guy a lot, I don't know why. But anyway, let's move on. This, this is quite a big base. So we can cause as much destruction as possible. Putting two parts together and activating the squishing mechanic. And it just crumbles around it. Right, I see this truck here. It, it's annoying me. So I'm going to put some rockety mine things on. Which, which basically means this all goes in one direction. But it's so heavy, it barely moves. And then just explodes. <laughs> Right, put this against the barrel. Boom, the barrel goes straight for it. That poor little watchtower had zero chance. Absolutely zero chance. I mean, even stuff like this, literally your objective is just to wreck stuff. So yeah, just damage stuff. If it looks red, you have to destroy it. Uh, this is the big satellite. It takes a lot of stuff to take it down, like different mines, rockets. It's pretty strong. So I use these little mines to try and do as much damage as humanly possible. So we're going to drop down and hopefully see it potentially blow up into small smithereens at some point i'm trying to like do a few different points so it just crushes down and in one fell swoop and will it will it happen and i saw a slight dodgy landing it sort of hurt my feet a little bit oh yes whoa whoa so it exploded as i was on it and there we go <laughs> it's officially broken that's how like cannot see into space can't do anything it's 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 pretty pointless definitely pointless i just can't get over how fun this game is and this is what this game is about is having fun and sometimes i think gamers forget that and this game does not forget that this is just pure and utter fun right let's do some more destruction right see this weird tower thing good aid launcher kaboom two shots three shots four shots and it crumbles goodbye goodbye it just slowly just crumbles. I love it. it's all buckles and depending on like where you hit that object, it will react to like how you hit it. It's crazy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. You guys are awesome. If you guys want to see more, please let me know in the comment section below. And perhaps Square Enix will let me upload some more stuff. I'm probably like three hours, so yeah. See you guys later. Bye bye.